Hello future designers, welcome to today's lesson on the uh, UI UX training. I'm then doing this interface, okay. So this interface. So today we'll be starting with this and then um, with time we'll would move to uh, this uh, frame or this screen, okay. So that said, firstly what we would want to do is to get the icons uh, down and then some text, okay. Or let's do that of the icons first. And then we can just start um, the project so if you log into figma you would um, have to you see this interface and then you have to click on new design okay new design um, file so you click on this and then it's going to open the working environment or the working space for you so that said uh, let's go and then select the frame so i'm going to select this and then click on frame okay so um, I'm going to choose the iPhone Pro Max. Okay, so this frame. And then, uh, let's see. So, let's use this. Let me check here. This should be what? So, contact information. So, I'm going to rename here to contacts. Let me just do contacts info. Contact info. Okay. And then, what I would do next is to um, get the icons down. Okay, so we need a Chevron and then this more okay the ellipsis so what i'll do is i'll just right click and then i'll go to plugins okay so from our previous lessons we learned how to install plugins okay so if you've not installed plugins you would have to go to manage um, not is it manage plugins or browse plugins okay a moment okay, so you have browse plugins where you would have to uh, you learn to install the plugins but we already have done that so we have i have for me i have the material design icon and then the iconify which was taught in the previous lessons okay uh, the lutifa wouldn't be using that but it's an interesting project or um plugin that you might want to use so that said uh, i'll use material icons or let's start with iconify so with the iconify on our contacts page you can see we have what the whatsapp icon and then the telegram icon so i'm going to search okay so what's up uh, so what's up so you can just type here what's up and i'm going to click this okay so uh let me see i'll just click on import icon so icon should be or the icon should be on my screen okay so this icon and then i'll do same for that of telegram so iconify then i'll search for telegram press enter and now click on this okay then import icon okay so it's imported okay so i'm going to put this sorry control this okay so highlight all and then move them okay see and then i need the ellipsis so we need the chevron and then the uh, this ellipsis okay so i'll use that of the you can get that in material um, icons and then iconify but let's use that of material icon so uh that's which way to load okay so it's taking a while to load so while it loads let's just try some if you look here you can see the icons we selected you can see they seems to be separated okay so to make them one object you can just highlight all okay and then just use ctrl g to group or you can right click and then use uh, look for group this group okay so have i grouped them okay so i haven't grouped them so so let me group So now they become one object and then I can resize them evenly. Okay. So we are going to do the same for that of WhatsApp so you can see what is happening here. So I'll highlight all and then I'll group them. So group selection. And then now I can move them as one object or component. Okay. <clears throat> so our material design icon isn't still loading. Let's try that for the last. There's no loading. Iconify and search for something. 
Okay, so it's back. So I'm going to type here Chevron. Chevron. Okay, so we want this. So I just let me change the size first. So I'm going to change the size to this because I'll resize them later. And then uh, you can also change the color. Let's give it this color value. Okay. And I'll just drag it here. Okay. And then we want that for the more. So more, which is going to give us a three ellipses. So we want this one too. Okay, so I'm going to drop it here. And then we want that of, um, let's see, the message, phone, and then the, uh, this one. The email, and then that's of the floating action button and then the search okay so i'm going to do that quick so search okay, so we have search <clears throat> and then i'll take that off the email okay so email then let's look for phone phone so search for phone so phone let me take this okay uh, let me just move the see then i'm going to search for message message okay so you have the message and then let's search for the add button so add if it's going to give us our floating action button so just here okay so i can close you now and uh, our interface lose some yeah. would uh, just leave them that uh, let's leave them that way or better so we can just highlight all and then resize them okay so i'm just going to hold on shift and alt and then resize them oops what is happening control z Okay. okay, so let me just resize them even, um, individually. If I have some safe changes. Yeah. Okay, so let's leave it this way. So now, if you look here, okay, you would see we have the chevron and then we have the text. That's how the more um, icon so this actually is just the background color of the um, frame so what we'll do is and, and then let's do this so there's just a line okay so as you see it's a line so i'm going to have to um, pick a line okay so just a line and then let's draw from somewhere this place okay so to get a perfect or to make sure your line is straight you can hit on um, shift okay so you can see when i leave shift um it's not straightened so when i hit shift it's straightened okay okay and then uh, i'm going to give it a height of one what is happening yeah okay so not a high. okay it's already set to one and then also here it's already set to one and then i'll give it a color so it's a stroke okay the color value of this uh, we already have um, this color so i'll just pick this rather okay so let's see okay so hello future designers welcome to today's lesson on the uh, ui ux training okay and then we'll do that of the chevron but if you notice our chevron here uh, is black okay so i'm going to change it to black okay so let's give it a dark color and take it down okay and then let's leave it here so that's my color for the dark okay then i'm going to resize it so while holding shift and alt i'll resize it Okay, so I think this size is okay. 
And let me see. Okay, so 38. So 38. Yes, 58. Okay, so to be able to get these dimensions or these values, you just hold Alt, and you can see I'm holding on Alt, which is why it's giving me the dimensions when I. Look. So let me just see. So 43, I can still be uh, hit the up arrow to get the 38. Okay, so I'm leaving my to 38, and then here 30. Okay, and then what next is to use the text to get the contacts. Okay, so the text tool, and I'm going to type, let's say contacts. So I'll increase the size to let's say 64 is too big. Give it um, 18. Okay, that's quite small. Okay, it's 36. Okay, so 36 is okay, and then I'll just Leave it to this side. And now we would have to work on this. So the ellipse or the more icon, we have it here. So I'm just going to drag it here. And then I'll give it the color value. So when I click on this, I'm going to pick the eyedropper. And then, okay, so we have already have the color value here. So I'll just use this. Oops, uh, so like this, okay. Let me see the size, 15 by 24. Okay, so I'm just going to hold Alt and drag it and resize it. It's still big. Okay. So they are all sitting on the same, Let's see if this is on the same base. Okay, so let's try bringing this down. Okay, so I'm going to multi-select while holding on shift to select and I'm going to bring it down. Okay, so let me use alt and then see if distance 43. Let me take it up so that's a uh, rich 38. So 38 is okay. And then uh, let me see the font size is Roboto. Uh, Robo okay, so Roboto regular. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me do Roboto bold. Uh, this is a different, this uh, new need to, uh, new to so let me click on it. Okay, so new need to. Okay, uh, but let's use Roboto. I'm going to use Roboto. Let's use, um, or let's try this new new tool. Okay, we need to, is it bold? Okay, the style is normal, so normal, so I'm going to change it to normal. So normal. Uh, better still, let's leave it at bold. I can see the normal, so let's leave it at bold. And then I'm going to ensure that this, uh, uh, they have the same distance, okay. So let me see Alt uh, from here to here is 30. And then let me click here from here to so 35. So what I can do is uh, I'm just going to use the arrow key to move it back so that I get 30. Okay. So it's now 30. Okay. And here too is 30. So remember I... Hold, okay, my, while my hand was on Alt, okay, and this selected, I was able to move this to get 30 so that, uh, because this place is also 30, okay. So 103, the gap here, and then here is 96, okay. So we can align them using, um, so let's multi-select. Then I'm going to align them using this. Okay, so align vertical centers. Okay, so you saw it moved in a way, but let's see if it works. So what happened is align them so that they appear to be um, 
well positioned uh so if i hold on alt and i'll check this this 141 and then here's 140 um i can leave it this way okay let's leave it this way and then let's go to our next which is this okay so with the ellipse uh, i'm going to select the ellipse too so i'll select the ellipse to while holding on shift so i'll just draw and this size is okay so my radius um it's okay okay so this size is okay okay then let me see the distance so all so let's see 32 okay so this twin three uh let's leave it this way okay so we um this is actually something that we are looking on to so we might not use the exact measurements okay uh, with the icon, you can get an icon from Unsplash or any other site. Okay, so I have to take this down because here is going to contain the names. Okay, so to do that, let me go to uh, let's see, let's see the name. So just um, so to waste time, okay, to make things short, I'm just going to copy the name. Sorry. I'm going to copy the name okay then i'll paste it here and i copy this too so just control c and then control v okay and then paste it here okay so this quite okay or uh, if you better say if you want to type okay remember this is a new nito is semi bold um, 20 and then this should also be new need to regular is 16 okay so I, as you can see on the property panel i think it's well centered okay just centered okay um the gap seems to be there's too much gap so let me multi select them okay i'm going to take it up a bit so then okay. so i'm going to have to um uh, pause here okay and then i'll continue in the next lesson okay so or uh, better still let's look for an image to fill this part okay okay so to get image an image i went to pixabay.com and then i'm going to right click on this okay so choose any image just right click and then look forward copy image okay please not copy image address or copy link use copy image so i'll click on this and then i'm going to figma okay while this is highlighted my ellipse is highlighted i can just use paste here so you can see it's resize itself position itself okay if you don't like it okay what you can do is just double click and then you can sorry control z okay so uh, i thought you'll be able to move the image inside okay um but uh, i just discovered something interesting uh, look at what is happening here okay so if you like to do something like this um, i don't know <clears throat> maybe it might come in handy in a project wow it's interesting okay so just um when you click on this uh, you can see this hack okay when you click and then it's giving me something interesting okay so i'm just going to leave it here okay so this is quite okay so you can see i type my name and then accra but i don't think they are well aligned so what i can do is just multi-select okay with the help of the shift key i'm going to select them or i can just highlight them and then align horizontal centers okay so i think they are now well aligned and then i'm going to move them up okay so this distance is okay so thank you guys and then i'll see you in the um other lessons okay so thank you okay so uh welcome to the continuation of um the ui us project that we started previously okay so um here i'm going to have to take this up okay okay to this side okay so this is quite okay and then uh you might want to preview uh what you've done so far um but this remember this the line um two or the line shape or component so i'm going to um, increase this to two 
so one interesting about interesting thing about wizard you can actually di um, type two here but let's see i'm going to do eight divided by so eight divided by four okay so two okay so maybe you can also do some simple calculations here okay so now i'm going to pick the rectangle two and then at this point okay just right below the line two i'm going to draw okay okay and then leave this here uh, let me even take it down okay so okay use control plus plus to zoom in so that you're able to snap this a bit so let me snap it to it's okay and then i'm going to have to change this color so let me go here and then this color so this color this is the color value or the color code has code and then i'm going to paste it in the fill parts so Control v press enter okay so it has picked that for us okay then let me control minus Mm, let's see what we have here okay there's some percentage here so well, let me see here okay remember okay when you go here you can see we have the percentage like 20 percent so i have to go and change here to 20 percent so just you can see it's 100 so i'm going to change it to 20 Okay, so now we have the actual color that we want. Okay. Okay, so what we can do now is to check this. So we need to do the mobile, the uh, phone number, and then these icons. So first of all, we would have to do this, uh, the background um, components. Okay, so to do that, we would have to use the ellipse tool. So the ellipse tool, and then I'm just going to draw here. So while holding on shift as usual, Draw perfect cycle and then I'm going to change this color to white. Okay. And then now um, you can see if you zoom in carefully, you see that it has some drop shadow. So control plus, you can see it has. So I'm going to do that. So I'll go to my effects and then uh, drop down is already selected. So I'll click on the effect settings and then I'm going to change. Uh, my spread or oh, let me change my y to zero okay and then i'll change this spread to let's say two okay and then my blur i can put my blur at uh shall i use eight or five okay so now you can see we have some shadows here you see we have the shadow okay uh, which makes it appear as if it's uh, projecting out of the screen as you can see here too, we do have the shadow. So now uh, we would have to pick the icon. So uh, let's use that of the message first. So I'm going to pick this first. Then I'm going to resize it. So while holding on Alt and Shift, I'll just resize it inwards. So move it inwards. So 32 by 32, then let me paste it. Um, I would have to right click because it was picked earlier. Okay, so I'll have to right click, arrange, and then bring to front. So let me look for arrange and then I'll have to bring it to front. So bring to front. Okay, so it's now in front. Um, I don't think it's well aligned. So I can just highlight all and then try to align it. Okay, so align it uh, vertically and then let me align it here too. Okay, so now it's aligned. I can so I can uh, just copy this Control C, Control V, and then move it. And then I'm going to do that for the uh, the phone. Okay, for the phone. Also, how to right click and then bring to front. Okay, so let me resize it first. I'm going to need 32 by 32. Okay, so 32 by 32, right click, arrange, and then bring to front. So bring to front, okay. And let me see, this is also 32 by 32. Okay. Right, it changed to 24. 
Okay, let me do it here. 32 by 32. Okay. And I can highlight all and then arrange, um, let me highlight all and then align vertical and then here too. Okay. Let me try and delete this one thing. Okay, so let me just take this thing and then delete it. Okay, so control minus our so remember to group them so highlight this and then group control g to group so it becomes one object uh, i'm going to highlight this too and then control g to group this and then now let's see the other okay so we have to do that for the email okay so since we've already we already control c and copied this uh, i can still use control v to paste it okay so it's already stored in memory so i'll just use control v to paste it and then i'm going for the mail so the email, I can just do the 32 by 32 here and then change it to also 32. Okay, then I'm just going to move it. Then right click, arrange, and then bring to front. Okay, it looks stretched. Okay, it looks stretched. So let me just do it this way. So I think I like it this way. I like it this way. So it's well centered. Okay, so I'm just going to um, group control G. Okay, so now we have the icons for the email, the phone, and then the message. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we can do now. Is there any icon? Okay. So hello everyone. So welcome to the continuation of our previous lesson. Um, now we will be working with the text tool. So to do that, um, I'm going to have to select the text and then I'm going to type, uh, let me see what we have first, mobile. Okay, so mobile. Okay, so mobile. And then let me see the font type. The font type is uh, normal, you need to normal. You need to normal. So let me change it to normal. If you don't have normal, I'm going to use regular. Okay, so I'll use regular. Do I have so this semi bold? This is okay. So let me use semi bold. Okay, so that uh, we have some consistency. Okay, so I'm going to change here to semi bold. Okay. And then this is uh, new normal. The color is okay. Okay, so I can just use this. Okay, Control C, Control V, and bring it here. And I'm going to change. I'm going to change its color. What happened? I can't see why it's not. So let me just undo Control Z to undo. Okay, so let me just control V, then I'm going to move it here. Then let me change its color to a gray color. So let's use the gray color. Okay. So let's see the text uh, is regular. Okay, so let's leave it as regular. Then I'm going to change, let me see, this font size is 20. So I'll change this to 20. 20. Okay. And this is 16. Okay. So let me bring this here. Then I'm going to change it. Uh, let's give it any number. So plus 233. Uh, let's use any number of our choice. Okay. So this, okay. So any dummy number. But uh, let me align this. Okay, so I want it to start just behind this. So just behind this. So I'm going to bring you here. And then I'm going to also bring this here. Okay. Now let's work. Um, Okay, 
so first let me take this up a bit so let me multi select and then use the up arrow key to take it up so this is okay the distance here while holding on alt so 24 so 24 is okay and then let me just bring this here and let's see so here okay so for me i would want my icon to be here okay so i'm going to move this icon here and then let me see here what you have so we have two icons so i'm going to resize them i'm going to resize this so while holding an alt and shift i'm going to resize it okay so this is okay so i'll bring it here and then i'll do same for the is it a phone it should be a phone okay so a phone let's resize it uh but okay so first let me check you the size so 36 okay and this one too is 36 uh let me make it touch the edge so multi-select and let me make it touch the red ruler okay okay so this okay it's okay and then let me check the height uh okay i want them to be in the same height as the mobile okay so i'm going to take it down so the two of you, you are going to go down. Okay. Then let me see what we have here. Okay. So this is okay. So what is left is just for us to control C, duplicate, all this. Okay. So uh, we'll do that one, two, three, four, five, five times. Okay. So let's do that in the next lessons. Okay. So lesson. Thank you. so hello everyone so welcome to the continuation of our previous lesson um now what we are going to do is uh as i said we are just going to be working with the text and then we'll do some simple shapes too okay so this is what we are trying to do we are just trying to populate the screens with um, the email and the email address and then we'll do something on this and then we'll try and add the telegram and whatsapp icons okay so um let's proceed so I am going to multi-select this okay so let me check first email and phone number so let me just multi-select okay and control C control V so and then I'll use the down arrow key with the help of the shift key to move this okay. so I think this distance is quite okay okay the gap is quite okay I'm going to take this out uh, let me see so while holding an alt i'm going to check the gap, the distance so it's uh, 15 so 15 okay so the distance from the mobile to this text is 15 and i'm going to change this to email email okay then i'll give it a dummy email so a dummy email so uh, let me just use um gtl not <coughs> Ghana Tech Lab dot com okay and then I'll have to change the icon so let me just take this out then I'm going to bring this this here remember the size here is 36 by 36 okay so for consistency sake I'm going to change this to 36 so I can just resize it here or so I can just input the values here so 36 change here to also 36 okay then i'm going to align it just uh, so it aligns with this okay so let's make it touch it okay so it's well aligned and then what else to do is to let me see the gap here this one is 22 ours is 15 now we have the groups uniference Okay, so let me just increase the distance a bit. So just by so okay. Now let me check the distance between them. Okay, so 19. Okay, so let's use 19. Now we need that of the groups. Okay. So just this what is control C, control V. Then 
Let me see. Twenty-six. So here is nineteen. So let me check here too. Twenty-six. So let me move it up. Should be nineteen. Okay. So nineteen. So while holding on Alt, I use the up arrow key to move it up. Okay. So that I could see the changes as it. Uh, I move. Okay. We don't need this. So I'll delete this, and then. I would check here. So we have uni friends. Okay. So with the uni friends, uh, sorry, we need this. So I'm just going to change. Really? Let me check. See? So it's called groups, uni friends. So groups. So groups. And then here is uni friends. Uni friends. Or let's do it UI friends. UI friends. Okay. And then okay so now let's do that of this okay account link so i'm going to do this shape and then account link as usual we'll use the rectangle tool and then i'm going to draw from this end okay and this size is okay so i'm using 48 by 50 okay uh let's see the distance okay so you just close so I'm going to take it up. So 19 is okay. So I'll leave it at 19, okay, for consistency sake. And then I'm going to change it to white. Okay. And now we need to give it the text um, account linked. But remember, there's a drop shadow, but this shadow is actually a line. So it's a line. What you can do is uh, just uh, control C this line. Okay, the line that we have here. Okay, so let me just zoom in and then click then control c control v and then use the down arrow key to move it down let me okay so while holding on shift i'm going to make it move down faster okay let me zoom in to see if it's perfectly at the position i want okay. so i think it's there okay so okay so now i'm going to just select this Control c Control v and then bring it down and then change its name remember since uh, i picked it first i have to bring it to front so bring to front so right click and bring to front and then i'll change it accounts linked is it linked accounts or accounts linked linked let's check so it's um, accounts linked okay so accounts linked so the l is caps okay then let me just try and center it so okay so it's centered okay so it's centered okay and really let me bring it out okay and now we have to do that of uh, the telegram whatsapp and then the icons so account linked let me see so they seem to be so text size is 16 normal eyes i'm going to change mine to here's 20 let me see this is 20 this also is 20 okay so let's leave this to 20 and now we have to do that of the telegram and then what's up so telegram what's up so let's take this text control c control v and i'm going to bring it down so while holding on alt let me check see the distance okay let me see the distance so alt and then my is 25 so 25 okay so let's leave it at 25 and then i'm going for my telegram icon okay you should have this by now 
remember that was the first thing we did okay to pick our icons okay and then i'm going to resize it to 36 so 36 then 36 okay then i'm going to make sure it's aligned with this okay okay so 36 by 36 Yes, let me check here. 27 by 27. This what? Okay. So here, 27 by 27, but we are using 36 by 36. It's okay. And then I'll just control C, control V this, and I'm going to bring it down. Now I'll change it to um, WhatsApp. Or oh, is it now? Okay, so WhatsApp, not met, uh, Meta. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. let's see the distance okay so just for your reference so i'm also going to do here 19 since the distance so here the gap between this is what 19 so let me just do that of 19 for this too so let me just take it up okay so 19 okay and then i'll go for the whatsapp logo where's whatsapp we should have this too and I'll change it to what 36. So 36, press enter. Change here to also 36. Okay. So let's bring it. Let's make sure it's in line. Okay. okay so here there seems to be a good number of gap here. Um, you can do that. Okay. Or let me see if this is so. That's okay. You can do that or we can also just try to give it enough space. So while holding on alt, let me move it. Um, sorry, well, so multi-selected, I'm going to move it down to give them some small gap. Okay. And now our gap is, uh, let's say, so 39, okay, so 39. Okay. So we just have the more options um, simple so we're just going to copy this so control plus plus select this okay so let me zoom in so that i'll be able to select this So you notice i'm unable to select the line okay so what i can do is i can just come here and since i didn't rename it i'll just i'll but i can see with experience i know what's uh, the line i'm looking for remember we have two lines okay so what i'm looking for is line two okay so when i click on this i so it shows me that i'm actually working on this okay so i'm just going to just then select this and then I want the rectangle. Let me select the rectangle. So there's a rectangle. And then I'm also going to select. Um, so hold shift. Sorry, not shift. Control rather. I'm still holding shift. Okay, so control. So the rectangle, this rectangle. And then the line two. Okay, control, not shift. Okay, shift is going to select um, all. Okay. And then... We need that of the accounts linked okay so which is this so i also control this too okay and then control c control v and then i'm going to move it down okay so let's check the distance from here okay so while holding on alt Okay, so 19, so I'm going to do same to this. So 19. Three. Then account link. Okay. So 
alt 19 so the it's now 13 so i'm going to change it to 19 so with the down arrow i'm going to so 19 and which is okay okay so we have to change this text to more options i'm going to change here to more options more options options then we did more options let's see the so we have share contact and then QR code okay so just control C control V bring this here firstly let me check the gap or the distance here so 25 I'm also going to ensure here is 25 so it's 34 now so just use the up arrow key 25 okay so it's now 25 and then it's going to be called the share contacts okay so share contacts share is it share contact share yeah share contact okay share contact the next one is control c control v so i'm going to move it down okay so i'm holding alt okay so 19 i'm going to give you a 19 to 19 and then it's going to be called cure our code so cure our code cure our code let's see how it works cure our code okay so this should be our final work i can take this out now okay so i can take the rulers out now and then uh, i can preview it seems our this and the gap is too much okay so we can decide to follow that and uh let's see so uh let me just give them enough gap or spacing okay. i'm going to leave it this way uh let me hold alt and c so for me i use 27 so okay so depending on what you want to achieve you can just try that okay so this is our final project and then you can decide to preview it okay so let's wait for it to load the preview so this is our final project um, not our final this is the first screen that uh, we just worked on and then um I think this is too bold, it's too thick for me. So I can change it to let me change it to semi. So it's let me do it semi bold. Okay, so I think I like it this way. And then I think the changes okay. So it's affected the changes, affected the changes. Okay, so um thank you guys for um uh, being part of today's session, and then I hope to see you in the other lessons. So thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to the continuation of uh, our previous lesson okay, so our previous lesson uh, lesson we learned to create a contact information screen as you see here so today what i'll be doing will be learning to create my contact home so this screen is what we'll be doing today okay so um that said um we would have to go to our figma project okay so remember we did this and then we have to just add a new screen okay so i can just go here okay to the frame click on frame and then since we use this i'm just going to select this this is what we used okay i have to position it well so let me just bring it down okay so okay so now uh we would have to let's see what we have to do now so we we'll have to um do that of the text and then this profile or avatar okay so let's start with this okay so that said i'm just going to have to copy this um, control c control v and then i'll move it here and uh, let me see if it's the same okay so i'm going to have to reduce this uh let me first change to my 
home. Is it my home? So sorry, my contacts. Okay, so my contacts. Let me change it to my contacts. Contacts. Okay. And then I'm going to give it a size of uh, let's say 24. So 24. Yes, so 24 is okay. Let me see. This was uh, 36. This was uh, 24. So 24. Okay. So let's just do it. Um, 36. Okay. So just do it as 36. Okay. So. Let me see the distance, 24, 38. So, hold on, alt, and let me see. So, there's 26. So, I'm going to make it with a um, arrow key, left arrow key. I'm going to shift it to 24. And then it's already 38 at the top. Okay. Then now, we would have to do that of the profile. Okay, so, the profile is, I think, 40 by 40. The avatar, 40 by 40. Okay, so, I can just... Control C this, Control C, Control V, then bring it here. I uh, can change the size here to 40, 40 by 40. Okay. Then just try to align it here. Let me see the distance. So here is 35. Okay. So alt, so 40, I'm going to change it to, so it's 40. So with the right arrow key, I'm going to move it to 35, okay. And this quite okay. And then we'll do that of the search bar, okay. So with the search bar, we we'll how to use the rectangle tool. Then I'm going to draw here and then i'll give it a radius of um let me see what radius was used so the radius should be 12 pixels okay so 12 so i will do uh, so sorry for that um i'll have to change the radius to 12 it's 12, 12 is not that okay, so let's see. Oh, let's check out the heights first. So the height is 40, the width is okay, 40, 3, 2, 7. So 40 for the height. And then here, 3, 2, 3, 2, what is this? Three two seven. Okay, so that's right. Okay. Just try and center it. Okay. And then the color is white, so I'm going to give it a white color background. Okay. And then if you look closely, you see that it has a drop shadow. Okay. So a drop shadow. So I would go to let's just see how So I draw shadow. So in our effects panel or effect um, section, I'm going to click here. The draw shadow is already selected, so I'll click on this. Then um, let me see what happens. Okay, let me use the blur. Let me use it five. And then I'll set my Y to zero. Okay. So I'm going to increase the blur, or let's increase the spread a bit. So let's do it. Okay, so what I did was I changed my Y to two so that we have the shadow um, most um beneath okay and then my blur was set to 12. now if you study carefully 
uh, you'll notice that the distance here is um, 23 okay so um, I can still stretch it So let me just use Alt, okay, and then I'm going to use the left arrow key to move it. So I get 23. Okay. And then the distance, so I'm going to have to stretch this. And then let me hold Alt and then check to 26. Okay. 26 is okay because here, um what's happening okay sorry for that so here okay so you click here and check it's 25 so just leave it to uh mine is 26 and here's 23. So we'll leave it this way now what we can do is um take this so now we would have to do that of the search icon so the search icon i'm just going to have to select this remember we picked this on the um, previous lesson and then i'm going to give it a shard a, a color value of uh, let me click on the fill property here and i'll give it this ash or gray color okay Let's see the size 21 by 21 so i can just change it here 21 by 21 okay then i'm going to move it inside yeah so it's okay so the distance is uh 24 so okay so let me move it back so that gets 24 okay and then we'll have to type the hint so the hint is search by name or number search by name or number uh we'll just have to select this okay control c and then i'll paste it inside control v maybe what happened um okay now i'm going to change it to um search by name or contact search by name or con or number rather or number search by number I'm going to move it here okay and then it seems to be centered and then let me check okay so 15 so the, the distance is 15 okay so 15 so let's do that alt so we have to I'm going to say to 15 okay 15 okay so uh we are done with this um then let's preview it and see so let me change here to um contact is it my my contact home so let's just do it home so home then you can preview it now okay okay so there's the preview for the first screen and then the preview for the second screen okay so thank you see you in the next lesson okay so hello everyone so welcome to the continuation of our previous lesson that's for our my home contact screen okay so there's what we were able to do uh, in our previous lesson so now today we will be doing um this okay so try and finish up with this okay so that's it let's get started so first we'll do the recent and then we just have to do some images okay but what i would have to do is um what i did was to go to pixabay 
okay in our previous lesson I'll, I'll show you how to copy okay so just go to pixabay and then just copy okay the image so use copy right click and then copy image after copying you will just have to come to your uh, working environment and then control v or right click and then paste it here okay so this is what i've pasted okay so let's do that of the avatar or the profile face okay so to do that uh we've already learned that so the ellipse tool so i'm just going to do as a, uh, one example and then the rest will be an assignment for you okay so the ellipse and then i'm going to hit on shift draw okay and then let's pick this animal or this image uh, let me send this to back so right click and then if i do it this way okay it won't work okay so right click and then use as mask Okay, so it didn't work so control z let me undo so i have to send this behind okay so right click then send to back okay and then let me highlight all so you can see i've highlighted a circle and then this image and then right click and then i'll use as mask okay so now we have it okay so even with this try to position it anywhere you want in the image okay so you can do that for the others okay okay so i'm done with mine and then uh, i'm going to resize it so i'm going to use 39 by 39 39 by 39 okay and i'll do same for this okay and then do for the last one here okay so we can just move it here move them here So now let's see what we have to do. Um, we would have to do that of the text for recent and then this, okay. So let me see the distance. So 34, okay, so 34. So let me bring you here. And then I'll hold Alt and then the distance. Okay, so the distance is 65, I'm going to change to 34. So with the up arrow key, okay, let's take it up so you get 34. Okay, so that rather should be for the recent rather. Okay, so the recent, not the image. So, So what I'll do is just to copy this, okay. I'll copy this, Control C, or let me see. It's normal, the style is normal. You need to, normal, okay. And then the size is um, 14 pixels. Okay, so you need to, normal. So let me just use this, Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to move it here Okay, so just leave it a regular i don't think i have normal here so i'll leave it a regular and then i'm going to type recent i hope the spelling is okay recent recent okay so there's no s to the e so recent uh, here So I would have to change this to semi-bold or better still let's give it this value okay so the mobile is semi-bold okay and then it's 20 so let me do this also 20 
so me bold and I will give you 20 okay so I'm just going to enter 20 okay I'm going to use this vertical ruler okay I want our destined to align at this point okay so this okay and then what we can do is just to copy this control C um, let's hold shift and then copy the two control C control V then we are going to move it here okay so any name so let's see what we have for our um, so recent and we have the name and then the contacts and then we have some ellipse and then a divider okay so we'll have to do that so give any name here so i'm going to use um bright so bright and then uh, we'll just move this image here so let's check the distance okay so there's some 10 okay so it's actually in a box in the shape okay so uh, what you can do you can use the rectangle to then just draw here from here to here And then its size is um, 375, height is 60, height is 60, so the height is 60, so height, three seven five. Okay. Uh, what is happening, okay, so let me just stretch it here, and then I can just highlight all of um, this okay so highlight this these let's bring it here then I'm going to right click and then bring to front okay then we'll just take it back okay so its color is white so just change it to white now we would need a divider okay or oh, let's start with this let's do that of this but first okay so let me see here then I'll bring bright here and then take another ruler here so I want bright to start just as where the contour starts okay and I also bring you here okay so I'm going to have to use alt and then see the distance here let's see the distance from the recent okay recent to the shape is 12 so 12 pixels okay, so let me see recent hold alt and then check that so it's 9 here so i'm going to take it down to like get 12 okay so now 12 okay and then alt okay so i think this is okay okay so if we look here you would see we have the three ellipses or the more icon so i'm going to how to just select this icon Control c Control v then bring it here okay uh, we can just uh, give it some degrees here so i use 90 and then it's uh, position itself to be a horizontal okay not vertical now I would have to change its color to uh, this gray color. Okay. Then let's see. Let me try and center it here. So I think it's been here. So okay. Uh, I'll check the distance. So let's see the distance. It seems to be at the edge of this. So let's see here. Oh, let me use the ruler. Okay. okay so i think it's perfect okay so that should be it for this part okay so the only thing we are left with is uh, let me just group or let's just leave it this way 
Okay, we'll continue populating um, the list as you have here. Okay, so this uh, list uh, list view. So we'll populate it and then um, we'll do that of the floating action button and then we are done. Okay, so thank you and then see you in the next lesson. Okay, so hello everyone. So welcome to today's session. Okay, so we'll continue with where we left. Okay, where we left off. So you can see here, I really don't like the distance between the recent and then this whole um, section or UI. So I'm going to the project. Then let me just highlight um, this so one. So multi select with the help of the shape key. Then you select, select. And I'll do that for the shape here. So I'm going to take it down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So let's see the gap. So hold and then so I use 20 now. Uh, I think it should be 22. So let me do it 22. So I'm going to take it down. Okay. So 22 is okay. So let's preview it. Okay. So I think it's quite okay now. Okay. And then let me see here. Let me see this font. So this font is normal. You need to as well. So here is, um, okay. So I'll change this to 12. Okay. It's still new need to normal. So let's use, um, regular. Okay, so this okay. okay. So this okay, and let me see um, the name here. Okay, and what is selected? So I'm going to bring them down. Okay, so they are quiet. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm just going to multi select it again. Okay, and then we are just going to control V with the help of the shift key. I'll bring it down, but um, let me group. Okay, so right click and then group selection. So now they become one object and then they move together. Okay, so what you just have to do is I'm going to take this out. So let me replace it with this guy. So I'm just going to take you out. Delete, and then I'll replace you with this guy. Okay, so it seems to be positioned well. Um, here, let me give it some gap one, two. Then, here, let me give it some gap one, two. Okay, now I have this. So, these are grouped. Okay, excluding this. So, I would have to group it again, or better still, let me uh, ungroup and then I'll group. So, I'll regroup. Oh, let me change the name here to Bright Data. Okay, then I'm going just to group control G and then let's see the we need to have a divider. Okay, so if you look here, we have a divider here to a divider. Okay, so I think it's just one point. Uh, let me just do that. So a divider, we are going to use the line to okay, so the line that I'm going to select um, draw from here. Okay, and then while holding on shift, I'm just going to drag to here uh, let's see if that's what we have okay okay um it's gray so i have to change it from black to gray okay so this okay um okay so the stroke is one okay so this okay but let's see it's supposed to be here so alt and then so, um, here so i'm going to move it up okay so this okay oh, sorry so now we can just um control or let me just control c control v and then bring it down to 
the base of this so let me see the base okay so i'm going to take this up and yeah, let's see okay so it's perfect now uh, let's just group this uh let me ungroup this uh, how to ungroup it and then i'm going to group the two okay control g okay so now we have them as one object so let's check here and see the distance okay so the distance from here so to so from this so this is 10 so 10 so let's do that so 10 i'm just going to select and then hold alt okay so 10 take it up okay so it's now 10 okay so this is okay let's preview it here okay so you can decide to change the values okay so the name and then the you can decide to change it so just one last one so i'm just going to control c control v take what happened C control V this is old so supposed to be 10 so I'm going to take it up okay and then we just have to change this image okay so I'll bring this image here And I can just bring it here okay okay so now we have this so what we are going to do a hey, I'll change this to moment <laughs> okay so now we have this contacts okay so as usual we are just going to select the recent here so control c control v with the help of the shift key i'm just going to move it down with the down arrow key okay so the shift key while holding on shift and then uh, the down arrow key the shift key will help it move faster if i should use the down arrow key it will just move slowly but shift moves it um, faster okay so let me see the distance used here or the so 12, 12 was used, so let's do same, or oh, better still, yeah, okay, so 12, alt, okay, so I'm going to take it down, 12, and I'm going to change it to contacts, I think he used contacts, so contacts, so contacts, okay. so you can use control plus to zoom in control minus to um, zoom out okay uh, with the key, uh, keyboard plus the combination of keys control plus and control minus okay. so now what we have to do is just do this okay so a okay so now let's see let me see the distance from here so here is from here to 34 okay so 34 so i'm just going to copy this Control c Control v and then bring it down okay oops uh, okay i didn't group this okay so let me just uh Control c this Control v and also bring it down And then while do 
next is um, change the name to okay okay and then would we'll change here would we'll add an a so alphabet okay so there's actually another shape here okay so 18 so control minus then i'm going to draw a rectangle okay so rectangle so its distance from the contacts is um, 9 okay so 9 pixels okay so i'm just going to let me first move these ones okay so alt this is 9 i'm going to move it down so i get 9 okay 9 okay then the color is white so change to white think there's an A, so an A, let me see the size, 14 pixels, no need to normal. Okay, so 14 pixels, no need to normal. So let's use this rather, Control C, Control V, I'll put it inside. Okay, so right click, arrange, and then bring to front. And let me send this to back. Right click on the shape here, and then send to back. So send to back is going to take a long, so I'll just send this. I rather you send backward, so let's just send to back. Okay. Okay. So now it's in front of it. Okay. So A. So an A. Here is 20. This thing is what? It's um, 14 normal. So let's change it to 14. 14 normal. So I'll use regular. I just let's, let's make it bold. Okay, I really I'm going to make it bold, semi bold. Okay, so semi bold is okay. So our distance should be nine. Um, it's let's center it first. So let me just move this guy. Okay, so in order to center our alphabet here, I'm going to have to just highlight it. So click this and then click on the shape. Okay, so multi select it. Then we are going to use the aligned vertical centers. Okay, so you can see now it's centered. Then I'm going to move it to the edge. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so a so few pixels. Okay. okay, so this is our alphabet, and then let me see. Okay, so this is quite okay. And let me check. Okay, so yeah, it's at the edge. Then let's see the distance now. So now the distance for this alphabet to this box okay or this shape okay so let's do that it's five pixels so uh let me just highlight this and then hold alt and then check okay so we use 53 so let's take it up okay, with the help of the up arrow key i'm going to kick it up 
so reach 5 okay so as it okay and then let's preview it and see okay so interesting so now um, we'll check so we have to do okay so i'm just going to duplicate it let me just duplicate this Control c Control v then i'm just going to bring it down first thing let me check the distance let's see let me see here so 10 so i'm going to do that here to should be 10 so hold So it's change sense, so let's do it 10. Okay. Then from there, we have um, a B. Okay, so B. So as usual, we are just going to multi-select this. Or I can even group it. Okay, so let me just group this too. Okay, so they are highlighted group. Then Control c Control v and I'm going to bring it down. And I'll change here to B. To B. Okay. Then I'll check the distance. Okay. So let's check the distance here. Okay. So there seems to be no gap. Uh, they're just closed. Okay. So uh, let's just take it up. Okay, and then just control C, control V this, then bring it down. Oh, what happened? Uh, delete it. Okay, so this this seems to be close okay so we are just going to be joining them together okay then we'll do that for this guy too control c control v take it down let me see the distance Okay, if you notice you would see that we actually haven't picked the shape okay the entire shape but it's not an issue uh, we can just still use our eyes to gauge okay so i'm just going to select this Control c Control v then let me check here We don't have the divider, so we'll just do that of the divider. Okay, so with the divider, just control C, control V this, and then I'm going to bring it down. Um, it should be just some distance, okay? So this should be okay if I should check. Uh, let me take it up small, okay? And I'll do control C, control V, take it down. So this okay and then let's check from here and see okay so just two of them so a b do we have c 
so just a and b so one two three so b one two three okay so now what we have to do is the floating action button and then wait uh, we are done so the floating action button so i think there's c here okay so um with the c we can just control c control v then bring them down oh it's not that let's just delete it we'll just do that of the floating action button so i'm going to bring it here and i'll away If we preview it, okay, so that should be it. We are not going to add um, this color. Okay, we are not going to do the same like the coloring. Okay, just leave it this way. And then that should be it for our final projects. Okay, so thank you for watching and remember to change the names uh, accordingly. Okay, so thank you.